But we're going we're gonna to go back to Auburn right now. Damon Duval with us uh, from the Montreal Auto West. There you go. Looks like he's jumped out of his car. Where are you at now, Damon? I'm trying, guys. I'm, I'm back in the school now in a little conference room. Unfortunately, the, uh, the signal and service isn't great in here. Um, cause I'm even on the Wi-Fi right now and it's still in and out. Well, you know what? You sound great. You sound great. And s- s- can you explain how you <laughs> said with that kick? Cause people are texting into me saying, yeah, right. He saw the flag. <laughs> say, say again, well, the end of that game. Look, I mean, even going back to, to my own, I mean, Ben Cahoon, who I love, who's a hall of fame, one of the the best receivers ever in the CFL when we were talking about their game. He's like, no, that wasn't true. But then when you go back, we sit there and watch the film. I was like, watch, watch at me. Cause you can see if you go back and slow everything down, the way I look, I look through the, uh, through the holder the snapper and to the uprights. And if you look at my head, as soon as we start going, as the flag is coming up, you see my, my, face mask and my head turned directly towards the flag and the ball fly right at it um so you know it's just reaction the eyes follow everything goes where the eyes do and then um but you know very fortunately we did get the penalty and and got to move up and we went and put it through and and made sure that there wasn't going to be any more questions but that has been a big question was like you know did it do on purpose or not i was like well you know, I never would intentionally miss a kick. So, no, it definitely wasn't on purpose. It's just my eyes were drawn there, and that's where my follow-through and everything went. And if you if you look at the ball path, it, it's right on deck to right there. By the way, uh, I believe you. Number two, the connection is perfect. So thanks for doing that, and thanks for sticking with us this morning. And the question I had for you, just as we got cut off last time, is how have Ryder fans treated you in the decade since? You know what? They, they've they gone out other way, extremely super nice. And like I've told them, I said that was one of the, especially coming from the States, going up to Canada and playing, you know, with the fan base and the pride and just the admiration they have for their team. That was one of the biggest, you know, the first time I ever showed up with the watermelons and just the whole <laughs> tailgate. The whole, this, this is – this is as close to what I was used to coming from a big college, you know, a big school where we're playing in front of a hundred plus thousand people. And, you know, it was great. And of course we, we went up and, and did uh, some charity work and some foundation work and we were around there and you know what they, it was always kind of the joke at first where there's kind of, Hey, are they being serious or not? Like, Oh, you did that. But then it was like, you know, no, no, Everything was good. Everything was fine. And they had gone out of their way and treated me extremely well. And, um, you know, I think they understand it's a mistake. Things happen. And, uh, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to capitalize on my side. And, uh, you know, hopefully they learn from wouldn't make that mistake again. Do you uh, follow the Alouettes now and how, how they're doing? Um, I do a little bit. I try and watch as, as much as I can. I, I've got a pretty busy schedule down here. Um, my own self but i try and watch a, a little bit and I, I know they this year compared to the last few years they they've started kind of picking it back up and and turning things around a little bit um they're in big game you know, in regina I, this weekend they're here in regina this yeah. weekend and hopefully they can continue to get better you know the the thing for me all my my memory just back to you know that big core group of guys that we had and you know I, I tell everybody I, I really feel the success that we had and the records and, and and as well as we did it was because you look at the veterans we had <coughs> that have been playing together for so long and jailed together and um you know I think that was a big difference and then all all those guys. So you went into that rebuilding phase, and I think now they're finally kind of getting on their feet with, uh, you know, a quarterback and you know some some uh, some push behind them that can get them back on the right track. So I'm I'm happy to see them getting back on the right. Well, talk about the Alouettes in that town. The love for the Alouettes. I mean, they they. What should I say? Made the stadium smaller for whatever reason. They've had a problem with ticket sales, but the team hasn't been that good. Like if they're winning, that place will be bursting at the seams. You were there in the best era, probably almost a franchise history. Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, when we were there, it was unheard of. I don't think we had a 
not sold out game when we were there. I mean, and it was no matter what. And, but, you know, I think that's, um, you know, you look across the board, not only Montreal, I mean, CFL, you know, here in the NFL, I, I think you find that you're going to have your, your true fanatic fans that are, are going to be with you and ride with you regardless, good or bad. And then you're going to have the ones that, you know, especially going in Montreal where you have the Canadians, you have the, the NHL, you know, hockey that, you know, if you're not winning, they're going to tend to kind of veer off and stay away way um you know so the the easy fix for that is you got to start winning again (laughs) two last questions before we let you get back to business i wasn't done with the 13th man thing yet i would would you confer with me john that it comes up every day oh oh, it comes up every day here big party on the weekend it came up about three times and then people started to cry at the party it was really something else (laughs) on saturday night just talking about you guys oh no that was i'm just okay john i just i was a yes or no uh (laughs) How often does it come up in your life, Damon? Um, You know, being back in the States, of course, it it doesn't come up as often as it used to. But um, definitely the the few years after that, and I speak with friends, um, you know, especially go up and visit. That seems to be a very high topic that pops up very often. So, um, you know, in everyday normal life for me, not so much but when i when i do make those trips up and and do those things it's definitely still a a hot topic so uh um you know it it comes up a a good bit and we relive a little bit of the memories and and we move on you uh are at auburn you said so are you on the staff you consulting there what's up in the life of damon deval right now no actually i'm not i've uh my life wow doing a little substitute teaching you know i've got my two boys who are uh in sixth and seventh grade um doing soccer and and baseball and football and i'm the uh i'm the director over our our rec board uh, soccer and uh uh, just staying busy with them you know um unfortunately my uh my my mom had a major motorcycle accident a little over a year and uh you know i've th- so the last year year and a half spent a lot of time kind of being her caregiver and and dedicating a lot of time to to try and get her back to where um you know she needs to be um but but outside of that it, it's pretty much you know just like i was growing up it's still in sports every day at the field it's just transitioning to to my kids and you know coaching coaching their age groups well, you married Larry Smith's daughter, correct? You guys still together? Um, well, technically, we were divorced, but we are back together. Um, All right. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, that's that's a great family. So, uh, yeah, obviously, you'd be talking CFL around that crew for, for sure. Damon, yeah. thanks for this, yeah. man. We'll let you get back into class, and I appreciate your time this morning. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Anytime. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.